This week, we've had major advancements in playing non-Steam and incompatible games on the deck. We'll go over each process and how to get the most out of your full library of PC games. Plus, two small but meaningful features hit the Steam Deck's beta client. We'll talk about them. And a new Proton update makes some new games and some old favorites playable. Let's get right into the news. <laughs> So just a few minutes after I started working on this video, Nvidia released a new script that makes installing GeForce Now on the Steam Deck much easier. Now, I do need to disclose that Nvidia sent me a free two month subscription to GeForce Now Ultimate, uh, but I only discovered that after I had already recorded most of the footage for this segment, uh, and I had even wrote most of this segment that I'm gonna so I actually went back and uh, redeemed the code and then tried Portal RTX. It's pretty cool. Now, if you don't know what GeForce Now is, it's a cloud gaming and streaming platform where you can get a, basically a cloud-based gaming rig uh, and you rent it. There's a free tier and it's ad supported. And then there are two paid tiers. There's priority and ultimate. Uh, this isn't like Google Stadia though, because you can actually sign into your Steam, your Epic or other accounts and play the games that you already own from a cloud-based gaming rig, which is kind of neat. So anyway, let's get to installing this. So on your Steam Deck, hit the Steam button and then go to the power menu. Then select switch to desktop. Now head over to the GeForce Now download page. Uh, there's gonna be a link below and scroll down and find the download link for the Steam Deck. Now go ahead and extract the zip file and double click on GeForce Now underscore setup. If it asks you if you want to execute this, uh, just go ahead and hit accept. Now you've got to accept the license agreement in order to continue. Make sure it's to your liking, of course. Uh, the script will then install Chrome on your deck. And if you already have Chrome installed, don't worry. It'll just go ahead and skip to the next step automatically. Uh, Chrome will then be configured to be able to detect gamepad input, and then uh, it will be added to your Steam library. Now, wait for this whole process to finish, and it should take a few seconds, and Steam will restart. Uh, but once it's done, go ahead and log out of the desktop. This will take you back into game mode. And now we can navigate to our library, select the non-Steam section, and find GeForce Now. Let's launch it. And look at that, GeForce Now is ready and on our Steam Deck. Now go ahead and log in and get ready to play whatever games that you want to play. I know a lot of people play like Fortnite and stuff through this. Not my cup of tea, but whatever, you do you, man. Before you start playing, uh, I would recommend launching GeForce Now and then going into the controller settings. Choose Edit Layout, go down to Trackpads, and then set the right trackpad to mouse if it isn't already and then the click action to be the left mouse click. This will let you use your mouse, uh, a mouse cursor with any games that you're playing and in the GeForce menu. While you're in game, you can also hold the start or menu button to open up the in-game overlay. It's also good to note that the touch screen will act as mouse input as well. Finally, their official support article outlines how you can set this up manually if you'd rather do it that way instead of running a script. Now I have to say, I mean, I've given NVIDIA a lot of crap before, but it is really nice to see them officially supporting Linux like this. Now granted, I mean, this is a, you know, flat pack Chrome in kiosk mode, uh, but the fact is NVIDIA took the time to make a little script that uh, makes installation, quote unquote, installation of this painless. That is nice to see, credit where it's due. So I wanna hear from you and I want you to feed that engagement algorithm. So let me know in the comments if you're going to be using Nvidia GeForce Now on your Steam Deck or have you been this entire time? Um, what games do you play through the cloud or is this not really your cup of tea? Let me know down in the comments. But speaking of easy installation, we also saw a new way to access your Epic Store library on the deck. And I have to say, after trying this myself, this is really kind of a game changer, I think. Uh, this will be a little more involved than the GeForce Now install uh, for some folks, but it's really not that complicated when you get right down to it. So if you have Decky Loader installed, all you need to do is open your quick access menu, select the plugin section, and then choose the shop button in the top right corner. Search for junk store with a dash junk dash store, and then install it. 
Now, once it's installed, scroll down in the list of plugins and then choose junk store and then select dependencies. Now hit the install dependencies button and wait for about two minutes. Uh, once it's done, you can then optionally install the Proton BattleEye runtime if the games that you want to play through Epic are going to be using BattleEye. Now let's open the junk store plugin again and you should see games. Select it and then log into your Epic account. Currently, Epic is the only store that's available, uh, but they are working on a GOG uh, integration as well, which will be great to see because I know a lot of people, myself included, uh, have huge GOG libraries versus their Epic account. So once you're logged in, you'll see your games and you'll be able to install them. Now that's pretty simple, right? But if you don't have Deki installed, it's really easy. I'll just walk you through it real quick. We're gonna go into desktop mode. Now, if you have already set a password for the Linux user account on your machine, you don't have to do this step, but most of you I'm assuming will, go into your terminal, uh, it's called console with a K, and then you're gonna type in passwd, P-A-S-S-W-D, hit enter. Now, if you don't have a password set, you'll see new password and you'll wanna type one in. This is not your Steam account password, this is for the user account on Linux on this machine. Now, once you start typing, you're not going to see anything appear on the screen. This is normal. Just hit enter after you've done typing in your password, and then you're going to type it in again to confirm it and hit enter once more. Now, close the terminal, go into your browser, and head to deki.xyz. Click the download button here. Once it's done downloading, go to your downloads folder in your file manager, and then double click on the deki underscore installer dot desktop file. If it asks for you to execute it, go ahead and accept. Now you're gonna select install from this list, but since I already have Deki installed on my deck, uh, it's showing me the option to update it instead. Just let this process finish. It might ask you a few questions. Just go ahead and click through. Now you're gonna log out of the desktop and head back into game mode. Uh, follow the instructions that I laid out before and you should be off and running with Junk Store. And if this is your first time um, using Deki Loader, then you're gonna find a bunch of really awesome plugins that you can use uh, to enhance your Steam Deck experience. My favorite probably is Steam Grid DB, which lets you customize the uh, box art and uh, library art for all of the games in your library, uh, which I find just super fun to do. Anyway, we're off and running, so make sure you have fun with Decky Loader and with uh, Junk Store, because this, is, this definitely could be a game changer here. All right, next up, let's talk about this new Proton release. First, Proton 9.0 includes support for Sonic Colors Ultimate, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2, and Tiberian Sun, among many other new games. But this is the first time I'm realizing that uh, Command & Conquer's like, entire franchise is available on Steam, and now I'm extremely torn because it's like only $8 right now, but it's also like published by Electronic Arts, and they're a bunch of dinguses, so... Uh, ugh, I'm really torn. It's also freeware, like... Up until Red Alert 2, it's all freeware, so... Ugh, I don't know what to do, guys. Don't buy EA games. <laughs> but uh, with Proton 9.0, they also fixed regressions with Overwatch 2. They fixed video playback in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. They've also added a bunch of miscellaneous fixes for titles like Total War, Warhammer 2, among many others. There were fixes for audio in several games, and then they had a fix for uh, games like Far Cry 2, Far Cry 4, Witcher 2, several Warhammer games, and others where they weren't able to see uh, all of the cores that were available on a given machine. Now, it's just fun for me to look at the specific Proton fixes. Would you agree? Let the engagement algorithm monster know and leave me a comment. Uh, while you're down there, you can also like that smash button and get subscribed to see all of the fun stuff that we're doing here on the channel. And now, our final story. So there were two Steam Deck beta clients this week that brought some interesting new fixes and features. The first one was on April 26, and it brought with it a long-awaited feature to format drives that are missing a Steam library. Now this should make managing other disks easier and simpler from within game mode. Then there was a fix for when exiting a game, you'd sometimes have to press the B button twice to back out of the game's library page. Steam Input also has a few new tricks up its sleeve. Now you can easily swap the left and right trackpad or stick configuration just by pressing Y while highlighting a stick or trackpad. Now this should save Southpaws a bit of time when setting up their preferred layouts. 
Then on April 30th, there were a few fixes for the Steam client that included searches showing family games as from the store instead of in library. They also fixed incorrect counts on the search tab in search results, and they added view more in the Steam store button to all tab in search. Now, I don't know about you, but I am pretty stoked about the new family sharing feature that's coming, uh, and it looks like Valve is gearing up for the official release. Plus, it'll be pretty nice to be able to manage drives from within game mode, right? With all that said, I think that's everything that I wanted to touch on this week. Make sure that you get subscribed to the channel. Don't miss my upcoming game, Doodling's Arcade Sports Ball, coming next Monday, May 6th. Uh, there's going to be a link in the pinned comment below. Uh, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.